Hey guys, in this lesson we're going to be talking about collisions and uh, a collision problem that has to deal with two balls of exactly the same mass. They are they are exactly the same. So say we have ball one here and ball two here, and they have the exact same mass. So uh, the masses are equal of one and two. Now, um, what we're trying to figure out is the velocity of them. If, let's say, we have this ball is moving at a velocity of negative 4 meters per second, and this one's moving this direction with a velocity of 7 meters per second. And we want to find the velocity of them both after they hit. Now the important thing to remember here is it's an elastic collision so um, all the energy is conserved and uh, the, the important idea to remember here that you'll probably need for uh, other things is uh, pretty simple and pretty useful. It's that if they have the same mass and it's elastic collision they just trade velocities. So now this, so now ball one is going negative four meters per second squared, and ball two is going seven meters per second squared. And you can see this in real life. In uh, if you have ever, I'm sure you have uh, seen a Newton's cradle. You'll see like you know this one ball when it comes down, it'll have whatever velocity and it'll transfer to this ball here because this one has zero velocity and this one has let's say five it's going at five meters per second and they're all the same mass so when this one hits this one then uh, this trades this one now has zero and this one has five and they, this, these two trade because it's going this direction and just so on and so forth until this one which has nothing to stop it goes and falls down and repeats the cycle and eventually it goes to a state where they uh, steady but um that's just because of loss of energy with like sound and uh, air friction. And uh, that's usually a problem like that. So I'll, uh, if you have any more questions about collisions or any physics in general, uh, just leave me a message and I will uh, make a video for you. I'll see you next lesson.